Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be reviewing Uniswap as well as their Uni token. And I'm even gonna show you just how quick and easy it is to use Uniswap. I've got over $7,300 tied up in this crypto app. And it's not like that's just a small sum of money to me and I'm just throwing it around hoping it works out. I did a lot of research and I have it here trying to make money with it, trying to have my money work for me which is why today's video is gonna be all about reviewing Uniswap and their Uni token. And you may be thinking, Uniswap, Uni, isn't that like a 2020 thing, thing of the past? But no, 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 seriously. DeFi, it's gonna come back in a big way and I'm not just saying that. Uniswap is already huge and it's gonna to continue to grow. And because of that, their Uni token is going to skyrocket in price. I can't get a financial advice and this isn't investment advice and things like that. But the simple fact is, is that when Uniswap V3 launches, which it's apparently soon, you're gonna wish you had some. I know I'm being a little forward. It's not totally my thing here on the channel, but as the cryptocurrency market gets more and more bullish, I just get more and more excited. And these are things I'm personally doing. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. But first 10 seconds of tales, the best Shiba Inu and our resident Dogecoin. Uniswap, again, is a decentralized protocol for automated liquidity provision on Ethereum. Basically, it's a DEX, so there's no like intermediary that can stop you. So you click this and it launches the app. So let's just pull it up like it's totally fresh. What happens right here is you need to connect a wallet. So I'm using MetaMask, it's what you should use too. We have a full-blown video guide on what is MetaMask and how to use it. We review the desktop version, but there's also a mobile version. So you gotta understand what that is and set that up if you wanna participate with basically like a lot of the coolest stuff going on in crypto. So once you do that, which my MetaMask is right here, for example, and uh, from there, I can just swap on this exchange into whatever I want. So say I wanna swap into Uniswap, right? I wanted to put one Ethereum in there, I would be able to get 191 tokens. Or say I wanted to like hedge my risk, I wanted to sell one ETH out, and just like that, click click i could go ahead and swap no exchange i've got to register an account on no kyc know your customer stuff i have to go through to be honest this stuff is freaking fantastic also if you click on the pool tab you can provide liquidity this is called being a liquidity provider and there's some pretty interesting stuff when it comes to this so let's look at this big pairing this is my big um liquidity provision i have and here I provided, I, I, it was actually like 494 Uniswap tokens and then like 3.3 .3 or four Ethereum. And that was a matching amount in dollar value. Okay, and for doing that, I got 21 pool tokens, which are LP tokens, liquidity provider tokens. And you're like, dude, what? You're saying all this crazy stuff. Well, basically, once you get those, if you don't do something else with those, which would open up the whole world of yield farming and uh, liquidity mining and stuff like that, which I'm not going to focus too much on in today's video. I'm going to keep it Uniswap centric and Uni token centric. You can see down here, I'm providing $6,000 now. It's gone up significantly thanks to crypto just, you know, being on a bit of a tear and uh, liquidity to their pool. You see my associated coins here and I've earned $110 as my share of the fees, which I mean, my pool share is 0.01%. It's microscopic, but I've still earned $110. So basically by putting over $6,000 into Uniswap, I mean, I'm, I'm earning a nice little chunk of change. You can see that I've only had this pair in here for, you know, not even two months. And I've earned, in this case, like basically over $150 from doing so. You can see my earnings there in Uni as well as WETH, which is wrapped Ethereum. Basically, it's an ERC-20 token, an Ethereum token of Ethereum. Basically, it's a way to trade Ethereum on Ethereum, if that makes any kind of sense. If you're an Ethereum miner, you're definitely familiar with gas because it's made Ethereum mining really profitable over the last year as gas just skyrockets. Basically, as the Ethereum network, think of it as like a highway, is very congested with traffic as it gets more and more usage and more and more apps and dApps, I should say, are being built on it, contributing to that congestion. So you can see the number two consumer of gas on their blockchain 
using 12 almost 12 percent of it is uniswap so uh yeah pretty important and the number one is tether usdt and their erc20 stablecoin version of that which keep in mind a lot of this is all routed around uniswap as well then we have another decentralized exchange being number seven another decentralized exchange being number five that's pretty serious pretty significant and i don't know if you know this but these gas prices these hurt they're not the worst i've ever seen but yeah uh they're not the most enjoyable thing. Looking at the transaction fees over the last year, you can see that it, in comparison to now, it was basically free to send Ethereum a year ago. Looking at a transaction fee of 381, 428, 500, and now the transaction fees are looking at 13K, 8,000, 7,400. That, that is absolutely wild. That difference in Ethereum paid on, as transaction fees basically just a year later i mean that's 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 like a 10x in the worst way at the end of 2020 transaction fees peaked even higher at just all-time highs which is just really crazy and keep in mind uniswap has competitors this is the sushi swap classic they now have a, a, a more nicer rebrand right and they have sushi swap fi and basically they want to be a decentralized exchange or they are a decentralized exchange and they want the usage and what they do is they basically offer you incentives they, they say uh you know the current menu and you can see your yield and, and all this crazy DeFi stuff you can basically start staking and earn rewards so basically per one thousand dollars you'd be earning 1.563 sushi uh staking there they also have farms and basically you can become a liquidity provider on here and earn up to 83 percent which speaking of uniswap earlier you used to earn a bonus rewards on this but they stopped that period so right now if you put spent a thousand dollars you put a thousand dollars into uniswap you'd be able to get 191 tokens uni tokens were airdropped a lot of people made a lot of money from that and after it started trading very quickly it was you know instantly like a dollar and it peaked at eight dollars and forty cents a little bit higher on a couple exchanges but the takeaway here is that it's already back up to five dollars and 24 cents and ranked at number 32 by coin market cap i mean nothing crazier this is an easy 2x if things like went absolutely insane ballistic like 10x uh, but the use the hype like the everything is going to revolve around uniswap v3 being launched because they're also going to launch some new incentive programs to encourage use adoption hype everything along with this market we're in you best believe that's going to happen they released version 3.0 in september of last year and just four days ago they released version 3.1.2 so this is actively being developed and Uniswap V3 is going to be huge, just like V2 was. Uniswap basically created a mini Ethereum DeFi bull run last year. And now if they're able to replicate anything even close to that in this current market, it's gonna be crazy. I'm talking like life-changing gains. I've been doing all this talking, but I haven't even shown you how to actually use it other than just telling you, hey, you gotta use MetaMask, best option, blah, blah, blah. So for example, I'm sick of uh, suffering in permanent loss on my DAI ETH pair. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that from the liquidity pool here. And so to do this, I have to approve the transaction. So I'm gonna need to sign this. And then after I do that, I can go ahead and confirm the removal. I'll be receiving 644 DAI and 0.639 Ethereum. And so to do this, this is what hurts like really bad is that the gas fees are insane right now. And normally they're not this bad. They're, they're never a great thing, but $26 to remove that it definitely hurts because if you look at the fees and this is not everything by the way but out of my fees earned and calculated right here that hits me for uh, about half of my earnings but this pair was originally created for their uh, their uni like uni earn program where they're basically giving out additional interest in uniswap tokens for creating specific pairs and dying eth was one of those were one of those and so you can see the transaction pending 
and we can also just bump it open on uh on uniswap here you see i had a nice little mining payout coming in right there it's a it's a fun time to be mining ethereum no doubt about that it feels like the old days 2020 was all about their v2 and 2021 is going to be all about their v3 with the design focused on drastically improving the automated market making experience the amms basically the dexes the uniswaps and so forth both were swappers and lps liquidity providers increasing capital efficiency as well as flexibility while introducing superior execution so i'm excited to see all of this the big the big thing here is they're exploring scaling solutions lower latency trading faster settlement and cheaper transaction fees if they do like anything it's gonna be you know nice good big progress for them you can see that now after a couple minutes that transaction was confirmed i removed my die in ethereum and that's that's what impermanent loss is but it's impermanent until you ex until you make a trade right and you then it becomes permanent that was just a permanent loss and it's not like the worst thing ever right i had like one ethereum and 300 something die and so let's open up my die which i can just go ahead and put that in there also if you want to trade all of the the tokens and they refer to them as crap coins or whatever else i recommend you come down here you click change and you can select any list you want i like using coin gecko because they normally have all the ob obscure things on there and so basically i'm up like 300 die that i started with and if i put that into ethereum you can see that i would actually get most of my ethereum back you can't be mad about that right so if I put all the die I have, I could go ahead and basically buy an additional Ethereum with it. So just to show you a quick swap, click, click, painful transaction fee right there. But after doing that, you can see my transaction pending and it's going to be just like this. You know, it should work. Um, and then you'll be able to accomplish all those things. But come on, you can't dispute that. That's how easy it was to buy, sell, trade coins on uniswap pretty freaking wild also participating in it from being a liquidity provider point of view it's that easy to remove your coins and on the flip side it's just that easy to add your coins but i gotta admit gas fees really do hurt <sighs> If you want to get started with this, you're going to need some Ethereum. We recommend the Crypto.com app available on iOS and Android devices, even for U.S. citizens everywhere unless you're in New York. Sorry. We recommend the Gemini Exchange if you're in New York. So the big thing here is you can get 25 bucks for free if you complete their sign-up bonus. you got to stake some of their coins, but you don't have to do that. You can just use their app. It's completely free. You can buy into Ethereum, and you can transfer it out to your MetaMask wallet, and then you can start participating with all this crazy crypto. DeFi, Ethereum, DAP, DEX. The acronyms go on, my friends. Here's an important thing that you want to know. What is impermanent loss? Impermanent loss happens when you provide liquidity to a liquidity pool and the price of your deposited assets change changes compared to when you deposited them. The bigger this changes, the more you are exposed to impermanent loss. In this case, the loss means less dollar value at the time of withdrawal than at the time of deposit. So Basically, my situation here is I'm up like 80 coins on uni tokens and I'm down like 0.3 or 4 Ethereum, which 0.4 Ethereum right now, that's $400. But I do have an increase in uni tokens and I did receive those, those fee earnings on top of everything. A more clear way to see in permanent loss is when I provided one Ethereum as well as a matching die amount, which was like 300 and something dollars at the time. Or since then, as Ethereum has gone up in value, I'm experiencing impermanent loss. I don't, I no longer have one Ethereum. If I remove this, I only get 0.63. And you're like, whoa, like why would I ever do that? Well, they compensated me by giving me more die. Basically, I put in like around $1,200 or something worth of value. And so now I have more die to match that value it's kind of like i'm cashing out as i go it's to be honest i, I know it's it's kind of weird and complicated so you know i'll leave it at that it's you could spend a couple hours just fully researching um you know what this is and so forth my big takeaway here is just that 
I'm a big fan of Uniswap. I'm a big fan of just decentralization. This is a decentralized exchange. Okay, there, there's no KYC. No one can stop me. Just because I'm a US citizen, I'm not like banned from using Uniswap. I can go on there and I can participate and I can trade whatever tokens on Ethereum I want to. Amazing, absolutely amazing. They have a grants program that they've built out for their Uniswap token. That, along with the Uniswap V3, and the fact that I'm sure they're gonna cook up some crazy marketing mojo, is V3 is gonna be big, okay? It's the version three, the huge change addition, added features to their exchange. Most of the decentralized exchanges out in crypto right now, they're clones, forks, copies, wannabes of Uniswap. And you know, some are doing some cool things, some unique things, and some aren't. But the fact of the matter is, is that when it comes to decentralized exchanges, Uniswap is the Bitcoin of decentralized exchanges. So how could you not want a little bit of their uni token? Again, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I mean, I don't have like crazy money compared to some people in it, but that's a good chunk of change for me as far as I'm concerned. Obviously, I'm a little biased, but I wouldn't make this a video just to try to pimp Uniswap and Uni tokens on you. Just sharing what I'm doing with you as always. So if you want to tag along on my crazy crypto journey, I'd love for you too. All you got to do is click that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment below, and let me know your thoughts on Uniswap and their Uni token. As always, I appreciate you viewing. I'll see you on the next video.